What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Wither Killer. This Wither Killer works on 1.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, and a Switch or PC. This Wither Killer allows you to easily get Nether Stars. Nether Stars can be used to make beacons. For this Wither Killer, all you'll need is 9 obsidian, 2 water buckets, 1 wooden trap door, 1 door, 11 ladders, 2 dirt blocks, 1 red mushroom, some bone meal. By the way, the amount of bone meal you need may vary. One sunflower and finally about 13 and a half stacks of solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want except for solid blocks that Enderman can pick up. One example of a solid block Enderman cannot pick up is cobblestone. The first step is to go to the end dimension. Once you're in the end dimension, go over to an end gateway. If you do not have an end gateway, make sure you have already killed the ender dragon. The next step is to go over to any side of the end gateway. Now place two dirt blocks over here. One, two. Now place a red mushroom over here. Then bone meal it. After a giant mushroom has grown, break the giant mushroom down. After you are done breaking the giant mushroom, check to see if the end gateway portal is still there. If it is, plant another mushroom. Then bone meal it. As you guys can see, that should cause another giant mushroom to grow. Now break the giant mushroom down. If the giant mushroom did not break the end gateway portal, just plant another mushroom, bone mill it, then break it down. You can keep repeating that until you have broken the end gateway portal. After the end gateway portal is broken, break these two dirt blocks. Then find the west side of the end gateway. To do that, place down a dirt block over here, then place a sunflower on top. The front of a sunflower always faces east. That means that the back of it always faces west. For me, the back of my sunflower faces this way, which means the west side of the end gateway is on this side. Now place an obsidian block on the west side of the end gateway. Place it at that spot. Make sure the obsidian block is on the west side of the end gateway. Now break this dirt block. The next step is to place an obsidian block at this spot and an obsidian block over here. Now place two obsidian over here, two over here, and two on this side as well. Make sure you place the obsidian blocks at the right spots. The next step is to place three solid blocks over here. One, two, three. Then break these two blocks. Now place seven blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go back over here. Now place seven blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then place seven solid blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finally, place seven solid blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After you are done making that outline, fill it in with solid blocks. After you're done making that solid block platform, place 10 blocks in one corner of the platform. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After creating that 10 block high wall, extend it all the way around the entire platform. After you're done creating the 10 block high wall, the farm should be looking like that. The next step is to create an infinite water source. To do that, go to one side of the farm, then place 4 blocks, then place blocks around those 4 blocks. Now place two water over here. That will allow you to use two buckets to fill in all the water for the entire farm. Now place water at each of these spots. By placing all this water, the Wither Scrolls will not be able to destroy this area. After you are done placing the water, the water should flow like that. The next step is to fill in and break the infinite water source. You will no longer need to place more water in the Wither Killer. The next step is to go over here. Now break the block that is directly below this obsidian block. Now place a trap door at this spot. Now open it, then go down here. The next step is to place blocks from here to the ground. If there is no ground below this area, you can instead build blocks until you get to the same level as the nearby ground, then build a bridge out until you reach the ground. After you have placed those blocks, place three blocks over here. If there are blocks blocking the area, just break them. Now place four blocks over here, and four blocks over here. Then place four more blocks over here, and four over here as well. Then place three over here. Now break this block. Then place a block at each of these spots. Now place blocks at each of these spots until you get to this part of the Wither Killer. Once you are done placing all those blocks, place a door over here. Now place ladders from this spot to that part of the Wither Killer. 
By creating this area over here, you will be able to easily access that part of the Wither Killer. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you have made this Wither Killer correctly. Over here, there should be this end gateway. Make sure it looks like that. Around the end gateway, there should be water. On the west side of the end gateway, there should be that obsidian platform. Over there, there should be that obsidian. Down here, there should be the entrance to the Wither Killer. By the way, the Wither Killer entrance can be different than that. For example, with this other Wither Killer I made, I made the entrance longer so that the entrance is further away from the void. How this Wither Killer works is by placing the obsidian at each of those spots and placing soul sand and wither skulls on the west side of the end gateway, the Wither will spawn in the bedrock. The Wither will then get trapped in the bedrock and get automatically killed. While the Wither is being killed, you can wait by the bottom of the ladder. The water will prevent wither skulls shot by the wither from destroying this area. Although some wither skulls may be shot out of the wither killer, the majority of them should land in the water. After the wither has died, you can go back up here to collect the loot. I am now going to demonstrate using this wither killer. To use it, first go over here. Then go up this water stream. Now place soul sand at each of these spots. Then place a wither skeleton skull at each of these spots. As you can see here, that should cause the wither to spawn over there. Now go down here. Try to get down here before the wither spawns. Also, make sure you close that trap door. Either way, do not hit the wither. Now all you have to do is wait. The wither should get automatically killed. After the wither has died, go back up here, then go back up this water. When you go to this area, collect obsidian the wither has broken. Now kill the wither skeletons. You should be able to easily kill them over here. Now replace any obsidian that was broken. You can now collect another star by jumping over here. Another way you can collect the nether star is by placing two blocks over here. That should allow you to easily pick it up. Then break the blocks. By the way, if you want to replace the obsidian before killing the wither skeletons, you can do that. Before you spawn the wither again, make sure you replace any obsidian that broke. To use the wither killer again, place soul sand at each of these spots. Then place your wither skull at each of these spots. That should cause the wither to spawn in the bedrock. As you guys can see here, the wither gets automatically killed. Once the wither has died, make sure you collect the nether star before it despawns. If this wither killer does not work for you, I recommend you make sure your world is not set to peaceful. Also, make sure you placed all the obsidian at the right spots. It's really important that the obsidian platform is on the west side of the end gateway. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this Minecraft bear rock wither killer. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.